You may or may not know that I've played a lot of Football Manager this year, probably a little bit too much. Whether it's for the videos I do here on FM Scout or on my own channel, I've made countless saves and signed hundreds and hundreds of different players. And from that, I've found a few favourites. So today, I'm going to go through them, listing my team of my favourite players from FM24. A few things to note before we start, though. Some of these players will be cheap, some will be expensive. I've done different saves with different calibres of club, so I've had to try different calibres of players players and two these guys might not work for you but for me they've always been effective so I want to hear your favorite players in the comments down below and if you've used any of these guys I'm not saying these are the only good players I've used just a few of my favorites that sprung to mind if you do enjoy the video smash a like button for us subscribe for more and let's start off with the boring one the goalkeeper now I say the boring one that is a little bit harsh but I always find goalkeepers a little bit boring to talk about either way though this is one of the most exceptional pieces of business you can make in your save if you can afford him this is Nicholas Hadel of Rapid Vienne out in the Austrian divisions or Sport Club Rapid as they're called here he's a 22 year old who is already an international for his nation he's got great ability and can play the modern style of sweeper keeper that you might want to but also the standard goalkeeping style too so he's got a bit of both whenever I've used him he's never let me down and pretty much always because of the cheap price you can get him for because of the division he's in when you do sell him on you will make a hell of a lot of money the amount of times I've signed him and then you know two years later after some decent performances Saudi Arabia come along offer me 30 40 million for him and it's a no-brainer to accept it he is a player that will always guarantee a profit always guarantee a good performance and overall is just one of the best options in the net this year that I've used now we get on to the outfield players though, the fun ones. We start off with a right back option. This is Yukonara Sugawara of AZ Alkmaar in the Eredivisie. He's a Japanese international. He's someone that I've watched a few times in real life now and I really do like the look of him. I think this summer transfer window we might see him move out of the Eredivisie and into one of the top five European leagues. In this save, Atletico Madrid wants him and you can see why. He's a good player, 23, who's got time to get better still and he is very good technically on the ball. Is he the world's best defender? Maybe not, but he's quick, got good stamina and is decent in the air, but he's got exceptional passing vision and technique for a right back. Really good first touch, the dribbling is good as well, and the crossing is good too. He might not be the best defensively, like I say, but if you're looking for someone to maybe have a bit more of a technical element to your game, maybe even as an inverted wing back moving in to this midfield role, he could definitely do that job. This year for AZ Alkmaar in the Eredivisie, as he was last year in real life, he has been exceptional getting goals and I think it won't be too long until he is one of the most recognizable right backs in world football I'm putting my stocks into him Sugawara sign him in FM24 and he will do a great job for you and in the opposite fullback spot we've got a left back from France who I don't know whether he was upgraded in the winter update but since the winter update he's someone that's featured in a few of my saves this is Bradley Locco I've never heard of him before the winter update now though Bradley is appearing every single time usually a few seasons in with Brest he ends up leaving as a free agent because they don't tend to offer him the kind of football that he would want because he is to be honest an elite level left back with a little bit of growth. Straight away, he's got everything you'd want from a fullback. Is he going to start for Man City? No, but could he start for a very good Ligue 1 team, a mid-table Premier League team? Yes, he definitely could. Now, obviously, he's still got time to grow at the age of 21, so after a bit more development, a few years into your save, he can genuinely be one of the best left backs in the world. Obviously, there isn't the most competition in fullback, but at left back, he's got everything you want, both going forward and defensively. I've seen him become a French international national like I say I always end up picking him up for free but if you have to pay 12 million pounds for him that's definitely not the end of the world I've ended up having offers come in for him of 50 60 million from Saudi Arabian clubs after only a year for him which I actually rejected if I remember right in the rebuild I had him with but yes Bradley Locco a fantastic left back option and one of my favorites in that position this year before we continue with this list though some of you might have been hearing me speak about my channel the rebuilds we've done the players we've signed and wonder where is said channel well don't worry guys if you're desperate, you can go into the description and you can find my channel there or you can search for Jake Cooper in the YouTube search bar. You'll find me. We've got over 30,000 subscribers and growing. So hopefully you'll join that number. We do Football Manager Rebuilds where we take over a club every week, give ourselves five years in the space of one 25, 30 minute video to try and change around their fortunes. Whether it's Barcelona, Benfica or even going all the way down to the sixth tier of England, we've done it all in those videos. So make sure you come check that out if it sounds interesting. But let's get back to 
our list. And we head to Italy to find a centre-back, a nation that has been producing great defenders for many a year. And it looks like there's another one here. This is Alessandro Biongiorno. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but he's playing for Torino. And I've had him in less saves than some of the players in this list. Maybe only twice, could even be once, I don't know. But I remember when I used him, I was blown away by how good he got because I never really heard of him before. Obviously, I'm behind on the curve because he is already an Italian international, but he cost me just over 10 million. Here he's valued at about 15 at the start of your save. He was big, he was quick, he was strong, he was good in the air. He could play the ball out nicely and he was good in the defensive elements of the game as well. Really a great all-round defender that ticks all the boxes that you would want from a centre-back in the modern age. And on top of that, he's not yet in his prime. He's still got some time left to grow. And the 1999 born Italian international is someone that we might be hearing more and more about as the years go by. I don't know how long you'll stay at Torino for, but in your saves, go ahead, sign him as quick as you can, and you will have a great left-footed centre-back for your team. And completing my defence, I'm going for Umar Saleh, a player that some of you guys might know about. I think he is an absolute bargain for the price that you'll pay for him. If you go to Salzburg and offer them £5 million or so, you can get a future French international. I have no doubt about it when it comes to this player that he will be that good. He's six foot four. He's a great ball playing defender as well. If you're wanting someone to pass the ball out, he is the man for it. 14 passing, 13 technique, 12 vision. Does that mean he lacks defensively? Not at all. 13 tackling, 15 marking, 14 positioning as well. First touch, heading ability, dribbling, really good physically as well. This man is perfect as a centre-back, only 23, years to get better yet. You would assume he's playing for, you know, Monaco, PSG, valued at 20, 30 million. No, he's playing for Salzburg, 5 million quid is all it will take, and you'll get yourself a defender that could play for even the most elite sides in world football. If you want to succeed in FM, you might want to win trophies, get promoted, use a great tactic. I say, forget about all of that. Go to Salzburg, sign all their players, wait a year, and you will make 10 times the money on pretty much all of them. And that is the case with this player, another Salzburg one. This is Nicolas Capaldo, an Argentinian 24-year-old, £10 million midfielder who has it all in that special box-to-box -box role. It's a role that not many people can play at a good level, but he is perfect for it with insane work rate, stamina, acceleration natural fitness the pace is there the strength is there he's going to put himself around he's only five foot eight but he'll certainly get involved when he gets the ball he's good with it with 13 passing 12 first touch decent dribbling vision and technique he can put in a tackle as well he is a hard worker a tough tackler 10 million pounds is the fee i can tell you right now i have sold him for 70 to 60 million pounds in a few of my saves now saudi arabia seem to love him as they do pretty much every player this year but yeah he is an absolute gem much like his fellow teammate Soleil, I really think he's a no-brainer. If you can get him, he's perfect for that role. He's got time to grow and he'll go on to be an Argentinian international and a 40, 50 million pound player very quickly. Now for a player that when I saw him in game for the first time, I thought he was a glitch and I had to ask the comments about him. And that's where I learned the weird intricacies of Ernest Nwama. Now starting off on paper, a very good winger. He's got great attributes. He's really quick, which makes him deadly in the in-game engine. He's only 19. So he's got a lot of room to grow. But what I didn't understand is why he was playing for me three or four seasons in, in the third division of Belgium, whilst having even better attributes than this. You can imagine at that point, he was 21, 22, and he'd had a lot of growth by then, but was in the third division. Now, the reason is, is in real life, he's on loan at Lyon, who have a link to Molenbeek, who are a Belgian side in the top tier. Now, I believe to get around some kind of financial rules, he hasn't necessarily been signed by Lyon. He's just been loaned there or at least however it's happened in game he is set to not actually have an option to join Leon he's just there out on loan so after that he ends up back at Molenbeek and obviously I assume Leon will purchase him in real life once he moves back because they are linked but in the game that doesn't happen now Molenbeek then got relegated a couple of times when I discovered him in the third division and I just thought how is this player playing for this club and we signed him for a very small fee for you guys if it's going to work out like that I definitely don't know but once he does go from Lyon and ends up back at Molenbeek. He is a player that you can pick up for a cut price fee and the Ghanaian is someone that you need to sign in your save should you ever get the chance. Up next is a player that if you've played FM24 I'm sure you will already know about but I have to sing his praises. This is Facundo Torres of Orlando City, a Uruguayan 23 year old international valued at a very small fee of six or seven million and I say small fee because he has the attributes I think of a Barcelona Real Madrid player. You might think I'm stupid for 
saying that, but he is natural in all three of those front roles. His physicals are good, his mentals are good, and his technicals are absolutely exceptional. The left footer, if you have him coming off the right-hand side, will score goals and create chances. He's a dribbler that can finish, he's got great first touch, can cross, can pass, can hit a penalty, can hit a free kick, can hit a long shot. This guy has got it all. Add in some flair, and he can be the gem in your team for such a small fee. Most of you will know about him, but somehow, if you didn't know about him, now you do. Go get him signed. For Kundo Torres in the MLS, God knows how long he'll be there for, but I don't think it'll be too much longer. Three players to go now, and it's another Uruguayan star. It's 19-year-old Luciano Rodriguez, who you can sign from Liverpool FC for a fee of only two million. I forget his name now, but last year, they had an elite level central midfielder of a similar age for a similar price. This year, Luciano Rodriguez is the forward-thinking version of said player. He is a cheap beast playing in a Uruguayan league, and if he was anywhere else, he would cost 10 times the money that you'd pay for him there. And that is just the face of it. It's because he's playing in such a poor division, at least according to the game, no offense to the Uruguayan leagues. He's just cheap as chips considering the player you're getting. 14 finishing, 14 first touch, 14 dribbling, 14 acceleration, pace, natural fitness, passing technique. I could keep listing it. Free kicks as well for such a small fee. Only 19. He's going to get better. He's already more than good enough. Luciano Rodriguez. I don't need to say too much more about him. This might be a strange call. I don't know why why he worked so well for me, but he did. This is Magnus Matson, a Danish 24-year-old, formerly of NEC Nijmegen in the Eredivisie. Now he's playing for FC Copenhagen. He moved there for a few million quid, and he is the kind of player that will set your team alight without you ever realising. He can play on the left through the middle or also up front. He's got good attributes all around, but doesn't really look like he's going to be a big threat. For me, though, whenever I've used him, he's just been that kind of gem player. I had one a few years ago called Kirill Despod of who did a very similar thing. You don't expect too much from him, but he just always gives you an 8 out of 10. He's never necessarily the best player in the team, but he's always playing really well. He will then attract interest. He'll increase in value massively. Copenhagen have got a gem on their hands and you won't be able to sign him straight away, but come the January transfer window or maybe the season after, if you've scouted him and he looks good, I just say, give him a go. Don't judge him too much on his attributes. Try him and I think you'll get good results out of him. That being said, his attributes are pretty good. He's just not as good as maybe some of the others. But I did say there's going to be players of different prices, different ability levels at the start of this video. So hopefully he's someone that you might think about signing in your save. And finally, we finish off with the man that's doing great in real life, was rewarded with an upgrade in the winter update. And before that, he was already one of the best. Now, I mean, there isn't even much debate. This is Samu Omaru Dion, who's playing for Atletico Madrid, but he's currently out on loan at Deportivo Alaves. And what more do you want me to say about this man? He is the future of Spanish football in that striking position, in my opinion. The 19-year-old is valued at about 20 million, will play for Atletico next year, I imagine. Physically, he's an animal. Strength, pace, high, everything you want at a very good level. Six foot four, good on the ball, good technically, can finish a shot, can score goals in the air. If you don't like him right now, don't worry. He's only 19 by the time he's 21. Those attributes will have came on leaps and bounds. Someone that I think any defender would have a torrid time against. He's got it all in his locker and for me he is one of my favorite strikers this year so there you go that is 11 of my favorite players from fm24 but i've signed hundreds more so do let me know if you want to see a part two and i'll give you that and let me know your favorites down below as well and we can see if we can make a video about them in the future thank you guys for watching i've been jake for fm scout and i'll see you next time goodbye